Hello everyone, welcome to Tonight with Cassidy. Happy Valentine's Day. We have had a lot of romance on the show this week. Tonight, we have romance, possibly some heartbreak, okay? Hopefully not, because Michael Buble <laughs> is coming to the Moda Center on April 5th, and the Rose Quarter has decided to give one lucky couple tickets to the show. You might notice though, we have two couples here in the studio. They've been handpicked by the Rose Quarter. They are ready to compete for the prize. Are you guys ready? We're ready. We're Ooh. excited. So we're calling this, if you can see behind me, Thought Buble, because we're gonna see <laughs> if you guys can are connected enough in your relationship to be thinking on the same line, okay? So it's like bubble, but like a thought bubble, Michael Buble. So his new album is also called Love, which is very fitting for a romantic day like Valentine's Day. So we have Okay, Austin and Renata, which side? You guys, Austin That's and us. Renata, and you guys are newly engaged. Yes. We are, yes. Amazing, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So We're you think excited. you know each other pretty well then, if you're like committing your so. lives. We'll see. How yeah. long have you been, were you dating before the engagement? Like four and a half years? Four and a half years. That's yeah. the first question. Do you know <laughs> your anniversary together? Okay, and then we have One Gavin point. and Joanne. You guys have been dating for how long? About a year. Okay. A year, yeah. Long enough to have adorable matching sweet potatoes <laughs> yes. shirts. Squeeze my sweet potato. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh. Ador <laughs> Did you make those just for today? No. We, or like we, you've been we wearing them, them every day. <laughs> yes, I love it. I feel like, yeah, we've been wearing them since our first date forever. <laughs> okay, so yes, a newly engaged couple, a couple who's been dating for a long time. So we have a bunch of questions and you have your little whiteboards in front of you. We'll go one couple at a time and you guys have to try to think the same thought. Hopefully you're very, very connected. So first up, oh yeah, sorry. Also there's a marker for you. I'm playing the game too. I would not get any answers, right? Because I don't know any of you. So, okay, uh, first up, you guys, where was your first kiss with your partner? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see if they're writing the same thing. Oh, okay, well, I can't tell you whether they are or not. Do you guys, how do you guys think? Do you think like they're fierce competitors? They are very yeah. fierce competitors. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Reveal your answers. Camping? Oh, yeah, camping in Colorado, oh my gosh. Okay, one point goes to you guys. Next up for you. What did, let's see, okay. Um, Oh, I don't want, that one was, well, where was your first kiss with your partner? We'll start out with another first for you guys. Okay, what do you guys think? Were you guys like talking trash in the green room and getting ready for the show? We were. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. There was Whoa. only a year ago though. Maybe. That's true. So, oh, so it should be easier to remember? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they might remember the more recent things, but maybe if we get into some like deeper, maybe childhood memories or something, <laughs> might not be so lucky. Oh, there are a lot of words getting written down over here by Gavin. Okay. Okay, really Christian's like, that's a long answer. Okay, one, two, three. Outside the bar, after our first date, after the, is that the right, same the thing? Nasty okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go farther back now. What was the name of your partner's childhood pet? Or what do you think was the name of your partner's childhood pet? Yeah, we'll have, we'll just have you guys open it, answer it at the same time. So then, oh, and I do have the eraser. So. She chooses her pet, she chooses my pet. Oh, we'll yes, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, unless you guys really were together for a very, very long time as children. Okay, ready, one, two, three. Are those right? Dax. Dax, Suki. Oh my yeah. god, I mean, you could be lying to me, who knows. Okay, <laughs> let's see. That. I guess we'll give you guys a different one, but you got that point. Okay, uh, what did your partner wear on your first date? <laughs> Ooh, she's giggling <laughs> like she knows. He, maybe not so much. She probably remembers the outfit that she wore, too. She's like, oh, I that sure was my do. first date. I was ready to go. Oh my God. Do you guys remember what you wore on your first date? Absolutely. Really? 100%. Do you remember what she wore? Oh, yeah. What did she wear? Oh, that's, we'll save it for the next Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> so many secrets. Oh, it's going very ge generic, so maybe hopefully get it right. Okay, one, two, three. Black jacket and black pants, striped shirt, khakis, Adidas. Wow, very, even with the brand, is that right? Well, that's, he always wears Adidas. Oh, so. you always wear, except yeah. the sweet potato shirt. Were you wearing black jacket and yeah, black pants? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, oh my gosh, we need to come with some more oh, difficult yeah. questions. Okay, Make now we'll see if you guys pick the same one of you for this. So. Who do you think, if there was a zombie apocalypse, which one of you would survive? <laughs> and we'll have you guys answer the same <laughs> zombie apocalypse question. So you can all write down your answers, see if you pick the same people. Even if you're looking at the other couple going, oh, they would survive, don't write their name down. Pick your actual oh, partner. Wait, so which? No, 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 just you guys, yeah. <laughs> 
I just made it confusing. <laughs> okay, hmm, who do they think it's gonna be? Oh, our game show music has run out. Dun, 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 I'll just make my own music. Okay, welcome back to Thought Buble. Okay, you guys ready? One, two, three. Oh, we both would survive. Oh. She said herself. <laughs> you said, okay, you guys get the point there. Yes, yes. let's go. Oh, top. I think he was trying to go like very nice and go, we both would survive. It's Valentine's Day. Let's not get in a fight. Definitely wouldn't be me. Um, okay. Uh, what does your partner like in their coffee? Let's have the guys answer about the girls, just so we don't have all the answer going. Well, we write our answer down. Yes. So girls, write down what you put in your own in your coffee. I'm like sweating, this is making me more nervous. I'm glad I don't have to answer any questions. Again, Michael Buble is at the Moda Center, April 5th. This is for all the marvels, guys. Okay, this is the final question, and hopefully you get it right. Uh-oh, Gavin just got nervous. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, wait, still writing. Oh gosh, okay. Tea and milk, no coffee. I don't, I drink tea, milk, oh, yeah. sugar, a little more. Oh, no sugar. No sugar. Oh my gosh, Christian, we have time for a tiebreaker. We need, okay, okay, one more. Okay, what, uh, who, t uh, hmm. okay, who is funnier? <laughs> who is funnier? Okay. Yeah, exactly, you laugh at it. It's a funny question. <laughs> Can you think, who do you think is funnier in this game of thought, Buble? <laughs> oh gosh, we got some long answers being written. Okay, ready? One, two, three. He oh. is, but I think I am. <laughs> Joanne, oh! Oh my, we're kind of, <laughs> What? Who wins? <laughs> Who do you say wins? I think these guys were up a point. Christian's in my ear like, oh, pick a winner. Who actually won, though? I think they won. I think oh, these guys, right. okay, you guys win. Hey. Congratulations, <laughs> Gavin and Joanne. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Valentine's Day. Do you guys have big plans for the rest of the night? No, we went to the Blazers Warriors game oh, last yes. night. So that was our celebration. Oh, that's a Valentine's great Day. Valentine's Day yeah. date. What about you guys? We're going to have to buy them some drinks. Perfect, <laughs> exactly. And are there still tickets available to Michael Buble at the Moda Center? Again, on April 5th. You can go to rosecorner.com for the tickets. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I hope your hearts are not broken.